Hello friends. Starting my day again at Arbor Day Nursery, picking up a final load of compost for the summer part of the project garden. And today helping me is Jesse, one of the owners of Arbor Day. Now I did interrupt her during lunch and she appears to be a little low on sugar and energy because she had to, she's backing up, she opens her door to tell me that she's got to redo it because she didn't get a good enough oomph in the first one. So she's going to try again. And as you see, she powers this thing right up and she decides she's not going to mess around and she's going to go get some on this scoop. Here we go. Now I didn't park in the most opportune location for Jesse to get this one cubic yard of compost uh, loaded. So we have to do a little maneuvering and a little bitching about it, but no, just kidding, she's funny. She was uh, joking with me and joking with my dog. Lincoln's with me today, <laughs> saying that I'm not parked in a very good spot and I need to do a better job next time. So I agree with her that I'm kind of a loser and I need to do a better job. So. She's getting ready to load me up with one scoop, which is one cubic yard of their best compost that they have there. They have some topsoil. That's probably a better, uh, but I want with the best of the compost mix. And again, this isn't the most heavy material, but it still lowers the truck quite a bit as you dump it in the back. So I never put more than two scoops in my truck. I just have a half ton Tundra and I don't want to bottom it out at this point and because uh, I got quite a ways to drive for get this to the project garden, which is about oh, a good 25 minutes away. Well, I get to the project garden with the compost and I start eyeballing the garden and I see a whole area next to the strawberries on the very edge of the garden that I could uh, plant uh, summer vegetables. So I decided it'd be as good a time as any to go pull some of this uh, field grass that's growing up in the rocks. And so just digging it out and, and trying to get all the roots. I won't get them all, but it's just over time, I'll just keep messing with it and messing with it. But this looks like a pretty good spot to maybe even grow the tomatoes. Uh, we'll see. Uh, kind of thinking I'm overgrowing some things and not have enough room. As you see, here's the roots of those, and they're pretty significant. This grass is pretty ugly. So here I've cleared out the space of weeds. Uh, it looks pretty big. It looks like I can grow quite a bit here. And Mr. Lincoln's kind of hanging out in the garden with me, stepping on all my onions. And here's how many weeds I pulled out of their grass, the field grass, quite a bit to feed the chickens. So to start the action shots, I'm moving the manure and the last bit of compost I had kind of in a pile that I dumped out of the back of the truck on uh, my, my last delivery. And just gonna spread that around into a new area that I decided to, to weed. And I'm gonna get this material mixed in so we'll have a little bit of mix of the manure and the compost. And then I'm gonna uh, unload the material that I have in the back of the truck that I brought today. Before I can get started unloading the compost I have, I've got to smooth out what I've got left from the last load and get it mixed around. Again, it's manure and compost uh, together on the ground. Um, some of my favorite times in the garden are just being by myself or with my dog and uh, just working, you know, just nice and quiet. Just get a little exercise, a lot of time to think about other things and make plans and you know, just, just enjoy the time in the garden. I'm here on a late afternoon. Uh, the shadows are uh, kind of taking over the garden a little bit, so some of the, the, the video is not showing very well. So there will be some challenges with sun, but as the season progresses, the sun will get higher in the sky, and, and I think we'll get plenty of, of sun. Here I'm just spreading out the compost from the truck, and most of it I can scoop out and just throw it, but for those, those areas that need a little compost that are a waste from the truck, I'll just load up my uh, gallon buck, five gallon bucket and, uh, and go ahead and carry them through the yard. Now I'm just raking it in and smoothing it out a little bit. We won't plant here for a month, but this will be where the summer plants go. With the corn, the zucchini, the cucumbers, peppers, eggplant, uh, those type of plants. So uh, just getting it ready. Plenty of organic matter here now, so the worms will hopefully come back into the soil and, and help prepare the bed for us and the fertility uh, by starting to consume that material. And here's the final view of what we accomplished today. Again, the shadows are making it a little bit hard to see. You can see my footprints better than you can see anything else. But uh, the ground is covered. Uh, it's got several layers of compost, a layer of manure, another layer of compost on top. 
So we've got a good mix ready to go here in a month when we plant our summer vegetables. Now here's my help today. Uh, not much help. Uh, Mr. Lincoln took advantage of kind of a nice sunny day and just took a new, nice snooze. Now for an update on the apple tree that I severely pruned. Uh, looks like there's a sign of life. It may not be a lost cause yet. Stay tuned. If you like this kind of content and want to continue to follow me living my best rural life in the city, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.